what's going on you guys so we're back here finally with the drive shaft shop half shafts install I believe these are the ones that are rated for 900 horsepower or 800 horsepower I'm not too sure but uh, yeah it's time to stop talking about it and be about it huh I've been talking about these for a while and they've actually been sitting on the side for a while I just haven't had the time or the means to put it on I mean I was gonna install them along with my clutch and drive shaft which I do have the drive shaft already the clutch I'm still working on. Currently stuck between the McLeod RXT 1000 horsepower clutch or the ACT T1S F05 twin disc HD street kit clutch. Um, I'm stuck between those two. I've heard great things about these ACTs, but not that many people are running them, so I can't really find that much proof of um, how good they really are. As to where the McLeod, there's a lot more people running them, but as expected, there is some people that are uh, talking about they're a little too harsh or they're way too harsh on, or at least the RXT, how the RXT is too harsh on our MT82s. So people are recommending the RST, but the RST is rated to 800 horsepower, and that's 800 horsepower to the crank, not to the wheel. I plan on hitting 750 to the wheel, so that'll be cutting it too close for me. Um, hence why I wanted to go with the RXT. But uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, ACT or uh, McLeod. But, uh, yep, here we go. Let's get it started. Drive shaft shaft, DSS, 800 uh, horsepower, half shafts going in. All right, so we are using CJ Pony Parts video basically to do this whole thing. Obviously, I mean, there's a bunch of videos out there that show you how to do this. So I'm not really going to show you step by step, but uh, I'll just bring you guys along and kind of show you what we're doing. As of right now, we're just breaking the spindle nuts. We got the tires off. On both sides, got it up on jacks, breaking the spindle nuts off right now. Alright, just to explain you guys, to you guys what it is that we're doing on the other side right now, is we're removing this part of the brake caliper, which is held in by just these two screws here, or these two uh, bolts. Remove those, and then you gotta remove the bolt holding this bracket to this line. Remove that and that allows you to lift the whole thing up and over and just set it aside so we can get to the half shaft which is right there. Cool. So that's what's going on on the other side right now. How do you feel about me vlogging you, vlogging me? It's fucking amazing. Inception. <laughs> I'm watching you while I'm <laughs> watching you. Watching me. All right. So so far we got what would it be? It would be the the top, the top bolt off the vertical link off, and then we got the lower control arm bolt off, and then to give us more clearance, and then we're able to just hammer out the. This would be what the spindle. Spindle. To uh, hammer out the spindle, angle it up and out. Now the only thing that's attaching this shaft. is holding it in. The half shaft is over at the pumpkin. So I think this is where the hard part that everybody keeps talking about is going to be is prying it off of uh, that over there. So yeah, let's hit that next. It took us on a what? It didn't take us very long to do this. So hopefully it won't take us much longer. All right, so this is the independent rear suspension. Here's where the uh, spring goes into, just so you guys get an idea of what we're looking at. Lowering springs right here. You look right next to it. Here is the half shaft. Now, keep in mind we're on jack stand, so it's kind of tied up in here. But there's the half shaft runs and connects at the pumpkin right there. So we got to get up in there and pry it out from here. So that's what we're gonna do next. Stick our pry to in there, pry it out. Meanwhile. They're working on that side. I can give you guys a better perspective of what we're looking at. There's a pumpkin, and we gotta get in here and pry it out. So we could do that. And then you gotta have to like open it up, open up. Pull, pull this out, yeah. Pull this, pull that while you, when you guys pulls it out. 
there it is. Yep. Bam, and it's out. Yeah, Alright, so they got the stock one on that side is over there. That's out. And we got the other stock here. GR bitch. That's a thick one. Yeah, that's the yeah, thicker that's a one. one. So the thinner one goes on this side of these two. This one? Yeah, so that that, that thinner one. So Here's a note. Here's a note, you guys. The guys that the guy that I bought this off of, which I don't know if I mentioned already, but these are actually used uh, half shafts. He said he only put about 500 miles on them, but um, so he uh, he gave me a little tip. If if you look at these, the center part of it, this one's thicker. Uh, you can't really see it in the camera, but this center part is thicker than this one. This one's just a straight shot. So what he was telling me is when he was taking his stock ones off you could even see it in the stock ones this one's thicker than this one <clears throat> so he was telling me that when he was taking these off he figured he would take off the thinner one the, the thinner one the, the new thin one would go where the old thin one was the new thick one would go where the old thick one was that's what he figured which makes sense so he threw it on like that, and then he said he started getting some noises out of him. So he called a DSS, and DSS told him that it was in fact the opposite. Now I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm right. <clears throat> if you guys please correct me if I'm wrong, but from what he told me, the thicker one of the DSS will go where the thin stock one was. So that's on this side. So this is the thin side. We're gonna get the thick DSS. Put it on this side. The thin DSS will go over there on that side where the stock thick was if that makes sense i hope you guys followed me there but that's basically it at this point we'll just uh lube up the side that goes into the pumpkin on the new ones and uh get them in hopefully it's as easy to put them in as it was taking them out i'm actually very surprised it wasn't that bad to take them out at all so i hope i just didn't jinx this whole thing and let's get it going now key here was you need to hear a click so I went ahead and killed the music for this and we just want to make sure we line it up properly and then give it a hard push to Ooh. hear a click so that's key here guys hit the shaft hard fuck yeah into the pumpkin hole and say that we got eight success so we uh, basically just pushed it into a bottomed out and then we for sure heard a click it's pretty pretty obvious when you hear that clicking noise and that's it I think the hard part I mean damn dude so far Knock on wood, this thing was pretty damn easy. Shut the fuck up. But I think the hard part's going to be putting the knuckle through the rotor. So she that's what we're going to do next. Send out her whore. Shaft. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get it in the hole. Yeah, let's fucking rage. Well, you don't have All to right, so obviously this doesn't bend nowhere near as much as the sock one did. So I think our best bet at this point this is going to be to not fight it the way we are right now and just remove this right. bolt. After we get rid of this bolt, this whole this whole setup will actually slide out, this whole thing. So at that point, we could take it out, line it up, put it in, and then just put the bolt back in on each side, and that should be bad. That should be good. Um, at least that's what we're hoping for. So we got that. Yeah, I mean, this is a really good tip, actually. Um, I know on CJ Pony Parts, they had the Ford Racing. Uh, half shafts so I'm guessing maybe those flex a little more than these do because man these were not giving at all so this is a really good tip actually it's not that hard at all and to put the bolt back in it's really not that difficult so if you guys are struggling and trying to do this at home and you can't bend it the way CJ Pony parts did no yeah just do take this bolt off man don't fight it we're just gonna sit here and fight it but realize just take the bolt out and not fight with trying to bend that axle into place. Just hold up. Yeah, it helps if you get your leg in there. But yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of heavy, dude. Yeah, I got bolts in my butt right now. Nice. Got a bunch of nuts there. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> nice! Like the way you roll, Matt. You gotta live on the edge. Live on the edge you are. Try it. There it is. Is it in? Yeah. I think. There it is. Yeah, I pulled it through. It's in. Alright. Uh, Alright. So we got that bolt supporting it now. And now we're going to use the impact to bring... If you, if you guys... Hold on. If you see, the teeth aren't all the way out yet. So we're just going to use the impact. Not tighten it all the way, 
but just get it enough to where it pulls the teeth out and it's easier to get the rest of the bolt in. Should be good. Now, let's try to hit the rest of the bolts. <sighs> All right. After getting my ass kicked on the driver's side, I kind of did jinx it a little. The driver's side was a little harder, but uh, it wasn't too bad. Once we loosened up some bolts, it all kind of started maneuvering nicely. So what we went ahead and did is basically reverse order of everything on how we took it off. Reverse order that, put it all back, lock tight it, make sure it's all nice and tight. The um, center, which would be the spindle nut, is torqued down to 125 foot-pounds. That's according to CJ Pony Park. So I think I could trust that guy. So we torqued that down, torqued everything else down, put the tires back on. Alright guys, so we went ahead and cleaned everything up, got the car off the jack, got everything nice, cleaned up and back to normal. Me and Georgia here are going to go for a little test drive real quick just to see, hopefully I don't hear that clicking noise anymore. Like I said you guys, I would hear it when I would move from a complete stop. I would feel like I'd get a full rotation out of my tires and I'd hear just like a like a knock or like a click. Like a, like a quick like click and then that was it, it just stopped. So uh, we're going to drive around, hopefully that's gone, no more, and um, I'll give you guys an update, if I do hear it again, then I'll let you guys know that I totally fucking failed at fixing that problem, and at that point it'll probably just be my drive shaft, which no big deal, I have it sitting in my garage anyways. Alright, so we just got back from a test drive, and damn it guys, I mean, it's hard, okay, so first off, I don't hear that clicking anymore, this guy. I don't hear that clicking anymore, so that's good. I mean, damn it, dude, that makes me feel so great just because that was my biggest issue is that clicking noise, and that's totally gone. I will say it feels tighter. It definitely does feel tighter whenever I do hits, but it's hard to really tell how much tighter it is just because of my tires. I'm spinning all over the place, dude, so I mean, I'm not getting traction, so it's kind of hard to tell, but um, once I go radios and I do hits like that, I feel like eventually I will definitely be able to tell a lot better, but... Hell yeah, guys. I'm, I'm happy with it, man. I mean, it goes to show you, you can definitely do installs, especially like the ones we did today, on your driveway with hand tools, and you don't need anything crazy, a couple of jacks and jack stands, and you'll be all right. Friend so, yeah. And you need an extra pair of hands, for sure. But, uh, yeah. Success, guys, for sure. Success. That's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that quick little... I guess install video like I said I know I didn't do step by step but there is a whole bunch of videos out there that show you exactly how to do it but nonetheless stick around he got he has bloopers and extras of just us messing around so go ahead and make sure you follow his channel if you guys want to see all that and I'm gonna put that right here and down in the description um, but yeah that's pretty much it stick around we got as of right now I'm thinking coilovers clutch and drive shaft still coming along so yep stick around you guys peace Let's fucking rage! Yeah, let's <laughs> fucking rage!